Yo, Kevin. Yeah. What's up, bro? It's Chris Robinson. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Chris? Good. I want to reach out to you. You know, I, I've been uh, hearing, you know, uh, a little bit, you know, about the Randall Bailey's thing. I mean, uh, just how how's everything going with you and Devin, man? What are you guys looking at? Oh man, we just been in the gym training, man. We, uh, you know. We, we, we got a showtime date for August, so we just getting ready for whoever the opponent is. We're not, we, you know, we're not sure who it is at this point. Okay. Now, did you see Randall Bailey's knockout of Mike Jones? And what did you think of that? Oh, I was, I thought it was a spectacular knockout. And uh, Randall Bailey has always been one of the most dangerous punchers in, in boxing, so... Uh, he still has that punch, and I mean, uh, that's the thing about Randall Bailey. Uh, you know, uh, he has a chance up until that final bell rings with that big punch. He's got that one punch knockout power, and uh, he's a very dangerous guy. I don't know what Bailey and his team is doing. It's all started from you know Bailey doing a, a radio interview on on boxing scene on the radio show, and yeah. Uh, he said he's always wanted to fight Devin. He even went to Don King's office looking to, to make a fight with Devin. So that's how it all came about. And we responded by, hey, you know, let's let's make it happen. We never knew about it in the past, but we can make it happen now. So gotcha. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, gotcha now. Um, as, did you see the Manny Pacquiao-Timothy Bradley fight? Yeah. What did you think of that fight? Uh, I, thought, I thought Manny won the fight. I thought, um, you know, uh, Bradley, you know, gave it, gave it, gave it, gave it a good effort. Considering he twisted, looked like he twisted his ankle or whatever he did with his foot, he, it looked like he, you know, what neighbor after like the fourth round he couldn't push off the back foot. But I think he 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 he, he uh, represented himself well. But I thought Manny won the fight. Got you and. Bob Arum, it looks like they're going to put Pacquiao in with Marquez for a fourth time. Do you feel just that a Bradley rematch wasn't going to generate that much public interest? Got you. And do you know? Are you guys back in full-fledged training now, or are you just waiting? Yeah, to... yeah, yeah. We we we're back at the gym. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way to strength training now. So, uh, you know, we got. Hey, you know, whether it's man, whether it's Bailey, or whoever it is, we're getting ready. So it, it, it doesn't matter to, to 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 us who we fight. So we're not chasing Bailey or Paulie Malignaggi or any of these guys who do all this talking about. They want they they, they, they they want to fight Devin Alexander when it comes time you know but, but when it comes time to sign you know they, they you know they start backing up so we 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 ain't interested in chasing these guys you know Devin don't call nobody out but anybody that calls him out he responds and steps up to the challenge and and that's just the way it is so we 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 ain't calling nobody out uh, hopefully we we'll, we'll sit down with 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 uh, 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 you know, Golden Boy and, 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 and Al Heyman and, uh, you know, we'll figure out who the opponent is, you know, you know sooner or later. The, the, the most important thing is Devin's got a date. Devin's, Devin has a TV date, a Showtime date in August, and, and that's all we're concerned about. And we're in the gym grinding, getting ready for whoever the opponent is. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. Come come August 18th or the 25th, Devin is going to destroy whoever the opponent is, so it don't even matter. Got you. And I was going to ask, you know, you guys beat Marcos Maidana very convincingly. Now, Maidana looks like he's going to be fighting Keith Thurman on July 21st. Do you know, um, are you familiar with Keith Thurman? And what do you think about that fight for Maidana? I've never seen Keith Thurman fight, so I'm, I'm not familiar with Keith Thurman. But I hear McDonald's still fighting at welterweight. Yeah. So I find that interesting. I find that interesting because after Devin beat him, uh, 
they said uh, he wasn't a true welterweight, but mm. here it is. He's back on HBO fighting at welterweight. So now it looks like that was just an excuse. Got you. And is it hard for you being both like from the training side and having to kind of manage Devin's career? You have to kind of play, you know, two roles, manage two hats. Is that hard for you at all? Well, uh, I, you know, I've, 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 you know, this is the way I've, this, 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 this is the role I've played in, in not only Devin's career, but all the fighters that I've handled. So this is this, this not hard at all. You know. Got you. And, you know, there's recently there's been some stories, you know, with the Lamont Peterson and Andre Berto with the PEDs and boxing and steroids. I mean, do, have you been kind of shocked at how things have played out for those two fighters? What do you, what do you mean? I, I, I don't understand. Well, okay. What happened was, um, you know, Lamont Peterson was supposed to fight Amir Khan. Then he got caught, well, not to say he got caught, but he was found to have synthetic testosterone in his system prescribed by his doctor. And the rematch got canceled. And then Andre Berto had traces um, of a uh, illegal substance in his, body, in his system. And the Ortiz rematch fell apart. Were you just surprised at the, both of those developments, the way it kind of transpired? Yeah, I was surprised with with. with both of those guys in particular because I've known those guys since the amateurs and they've, they've always done things the right way. So, you know, yeah, I was surprised, but I think uh, everybody should re reserve their judgment until uh, uh, look, Peterson and Berto get an opportunity to uh, uh, present uh, their response and, and, and their uh, uh, You know, uh, present their their case and 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 and, and, and reasoning for for whatever happened. You know, they they deserve to get a chance to to explain it and, and present their explanation. So, I'm not I'm not making any judgment on on Berto or 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 uh, Peterson until you know they had an opportunity to present their their explanation. Yeah. Because they've always they've always done things the right way, so uh, we'll, we'll wait and see, you know, you know what happens. Got you. And July 14th, Amir Khan's fighting Danny Garcia. Uh, do you think that could be a competitive fight? Uh, what's your thoughts on it? I think it should be a competitive fight. I mean, Danny Garcia, he, he looked he looked he looked really sharp in his last fight, and um, um, you know. Um, Amir Khan's coming off the loss to uh, Peterson, so he's trying to redeem himself. So we'll see what happens. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot for your time, bro. I'll be in touch, okay? All right. All right, All right bye.